So coming into this week, a lot of people are feeling alone and isolated. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like you're having a little baby dark night at the soul and whatnot or whatever, you know? Things are feeling really dark and bleak, mysterious. It's a lot of questions that are coming up. A lot of people are questioning their purpose. They're questioning life. They're questioning meaning. Why am I here? What is the point of all of this? You know? That's a good thing. It's a good sign and I'm gonna tell you why. What you're feeling is no different than what a lot of people are feeling in the collective overall. Because now is a time to, mm, we could see a test a little bit. It's a test of wills of what it is that's coming up in the darkness. You wanna really fixate on what demons are arising in whatever circumstance it is that you don't know. Whether it's that you're waiting to get a message from someone, you're waiting to hear from someone, you're waiting to find out if you got a promotion or not. Whatever it is that's coming up that you guys are waiting on, you want to pay attention again to the demons that are arising while you're waiting. What are those negative thoughts that are coming up? What are those fears that are coming up? And this is of utmost importance to those who would resonate with the statement of what does one do when it hurts? to hope for many this time is extremely challenging and that statement really encapsulates what a lot of people are dealing with it's having been through so much already and coming to a time yet again where things were looking up and now one is finding themselves in the darkness and needing to hope again so what does one do when it hurts to hope I say hope anyway, right? Because where we've been, we've made it through and it couldn't possibly get any worse than anything we've been through. Everything it is that we've been through up to this point is a testament of the fact that we have the strength, the knowledge, the courage, and the ability to overcome anything of that caliber, right? But aside from that, to give you guys a little bit more optimism is the fact that this is a circumstance that we're in that's very much guided by spirit. So even though it may not feel like it, you are, even though it may not feel like it, spirit is totally holding your hand through this process. So you guys are definitely not alone. It's just that this baby dark night of the soul is something that needs to be endured to allow those residual little proverbial demons to come up to the surface. Cause these are things that need to be healed and things that need to be acknowledged before you guys walk into this new cycle, right? So the advice that I have for this present wonderful time that we're in, like I said earlier, reach out to a friend group support group, right? Aside from that, if you haven't already revisit your goals and your aspirations, whatever it is that you guys were working on prior to now or what you were fighting towards, revisit those and see if you still have a connection to them. Do you still have positive vibes about them? Do they need to be reconfigured? Do you even have goals and aspirations? You know what I'm saying? These are things that we need to know. Aside from that, we want to pay attention to the messages that we're receiving from spirit. Number one, pay attention when you're in the shower. Okay. A lot of messages are going to come in the shower. It's going to be random stuff, but it's the answer to whatever it is that you're struggling with right now. So don't discount those. Next is pay attention to your dreams. That's of utmost importance. This is when I tell you to go on Facebook and join my Facebook dream group. Because <laughs> I always say that when I talk about dreams. But anyway, go ahead and join that. So pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the messages that you guys receive in the shower. Because I feel a lot of things you guys are kind of struggling with now those messages are not going to be found or those solutions are not going to found in your logical cerebral seeking they're going to be intuitive hits that are kind of you know going to pop up out of nowhere right yet another thing that i always say i always tell you guys this that the greatest power that you possess is your ability to choose right every choice that you make in the present moment present moment is where your power exists it's where god exists it's where you can use your superpower of choice utilize that in the now because how you use your choice presently is what determines what future you're creating tomorrow tomorrow is only contingent upon the choices that you make today so even though your situation may seem dark bleak hopeless choose to have hope in spite of 
Because in truth, what else is there to really do? We could sit here and be anxious and depressed, but that's not going to solve anything. You know what I'm saying? We're only going to manifest more sadness and anxiety and sleepless nights and things of the sort. And make princess be up making videos to tell you these things. Right? Right. The best piece of advice that I have for you guys is to relinquish control. To stop trying to control the situation and to allow yourself to give in to it. A lot of the resistance that we feel in life, the anxiety, the sadness that we get comes in us trying to resist what's happening. Give in to the flow of what's happening because I assure you guys, whatever it is that you walked into this week with, whatever mystery or unclear or, you know, bleak feeling that you guys entered this week with, I assure you, no later than the end of this week, it's going to be cleared up and you're going to feel super silly at the fact that you were ever worried in the first place. So this is happening for your benefit, for those last residual demons to come to the surface to prepare you for your next cycle. So I hope that this helps you sleep tonight. And hopefully now I can go to sleep. Love your face.